Currently, there's over 5,000 government grants and programs available. Madonna, thanks for joining us on the call. Thanks, Colin. Thanks for having me. Oh, not a problem at all. Now, you are a grant specialist. Can you tell us a little bit about what, what you do? Certainly. Uh, no Rose International is my company. Um, we've been um, accessing government funding and government grants and government programs for Australian businesses nationally. And what that entails is um, we have a service called a grant analysis. So currently there's over 5,000 government grants and programs available close to $3 billion of government funds available to Australian businesses, and they are profit business, non-for-profits, startups, and individuals. So we have, um, we have the wonderful power and the, and the tools to access those funds and see where they fit with a particular business and, and a business project. Now, what, what sort of businesses should be applying for grants? Because I, I know when I was, it was always a category of funding that I always forgot to look up when I was a business owner. So, so what, who are the first people we should think of and go, okay, you've got to look at these grants. I'm going to throw it out there and say absolutely everybody. It's a frightening statistic that only 35% of Australian businesses actually access this money. So that's 65% of close to $3 billion every year that gets left on the table. So I'm saying, put your hand up. You've got to be in it to win it and, and you don't know what's out there until you start that grant journey, that grant process and that's what we're here to help you with. Um, we access funds by business activity and also business industry. So it's very much an open slather. You'll be surprised at, at what grants are, are available. There was a, a grant available a couple of weeks ago for a tyre shredder. Um, oh, wow. I know, it was a very unusual conversation that came about, but um, I said to the person I was talking to, oh, there's a grant for that, and they thought I was joking. I said, no, there actually is. There, there's, you know, there's grants around that space. Um, there's also dance grants. So um, it's really, you know, it really is just a matter of let's open up the, the lid on that Pandora's box of grants and see what's in there for you. Yeah, wow, fantastic. I mean, one of the, I guess one of the biggest things is the, the effort and the complication that people think of when it comes to, to getting a grant. Mm -hmm. Like I know that it can be overwhelming, especially when you're going through government websites, trying to track down the right grant or the right application form and, and seeing the process. Uh, so what, what do we do to get around that? Like, how do we get through all of that red tape? That's what we do. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, that's great. That makes it easy. That makes it super easy. Yeah, very, very much agree with you that, um, you know, the, the grant landscape is very much a minefield. You don't know where to start. Um, do you access government websites? And they can take you here, there and everywhere, going through the eligibility checklists and, and all that sort of thing, making sure you've got your paperwork ready and available. The grant space changes pretty much daily. So if you're not grant ready, you could miss amazing opportunities. So we take you through all of that. We are very big on creating the correct grant mindset for our client. Um, grants should be seen as a quick cash grab for your business. Grants should be, and the application of grants should be part of your business plan and, and your future, future project journey. So we take you through all of that, your, your mindset, and then we actually find the grants and we have a great team of grant writers that can assist in the application process as well. So we can be as much of the journey as, as you wish or as little as the journey. And when you talk about the, the grant mindset, is that about understanding, okay, what is our what is our ultimate goal that we want to achieve yes. through our business or what's our, what's our objectives this year? Uh, yes. And then going backwards, like, okay, what grants apply to those objectives? Is that the kind of... Absolutely. Kind of that's, that's certainly a, a great way to, um, to start to, to do it. Um, we also pinpoint a little bit more specifically with that. And okay. how is funding of your project going to help other businesses and a spread of an ecosystem and community outside of you. So it's not a matter of thinking, oh, you know, I need 100K so I can 
you know, build a new route on my business. It's got nothing to do with that. It's I need 100K so I can employ six more staff that can then outsource and help me to buy more product from an Australian, you know, uh, producer. And then I can help the supply and logistics track chain to, to get that on ships, to get that exported. So it's about thinking around that whole ecosystem that you can touch if you are successful. Because that's that's a really important part you bring up there about, I guess, yeah, that that mindset of this isn't this isn't a donation from the government. They want to get a return on that and understanding what that return is. Um, they're not here to to hold up your individual business. They're here to hold up the the local economy or the the, the federal economy, aren't they? It's not about it's not about here. We're going to give this to you because we're really nice. It's about yeah. no, no. You're going to give us a return. Yeah, absolutely. So so they do take into very much consideration about what that money for that particular business or for that particular project, how that is then kind of I call it the octopus effect. How that is going to then feed out and touch the community and other businesses around you so yeah. that, that's a really important mindset that we like to get people in before they even consider applying applying for grants yeah fantastic i mean i was i was working for the local government last year and it was surprising how hard it was to give away money to get these objectives we needed met i was i was had to go door to door literally hey have you applied for this grant hey have you applied for this grant yeah. well as i said 65 percent of australian businesses and that's national don't um you know that they're either not aware of it or as you said in the beginning that's kind of that that mind feel and, and they just don't want to want to go down that path or very much it's not in their lane and i'm very strong on you know find your niche stay in your lane at what you do in terms of business and do it well and then surround people that are able to assist you better to help you in those areas that you you're not you're not a fan in and grants is pretty much it not everyone knows how to access grants and write them and, and make the most of them so you know tune in to, to people that can help you yeah fantastic and what's the so what once they've got that right grant mindset what's the next step you take them through um, we like to unpick very much their their project, um, and because quite often we find that clients have very much a, a tunnel vision or just a single lane view on well we're doing this so we need money for that. But once my team and I talk to them and, and unpack exactly what it is they're wanting to do, not only now but in the future, with our crazy minds, we've all come from very creative spaces, we're not your kind of beige, typical government grant um, grant workers, we've, we've come from creative fields, so we look at the grant and the project quite differently, and after talking to them, we can say, well, look, if you unpack that a little bit deeper, there's a sustainability bent in your project that you haven't thought of. There's a job employment opportunity in your project that you haven't considered or talked about yet. Know, there, there's a regional growth opportunity for this project that you haven't considered yet and you're like oh wow okay oh like okay i can see now so we kind of unpack that a little bit differently to, to them so that would be definitely the first area where we have great conversations with clients and, and as i said really go deep into what they're wanting to do and not only for just the specific now but for their future and that really opens up a whole plethora of other Grant um, roads that we can travel down for them. Yeah, great. Do you have any? Do you have any examples of any any uh, people that you've worked with that have applied for a grant and it's really turned the business around? That's the... Oh gosh, there's, there's quite a few. We're doing a lot at the moment in um, non for profit space. That's a really wonderful, wonderful space to be able to work in. We're working with a wonderful charity at the moment, and just the opportunity that allowed them to secure a third vehicle they could turn into an ambulance means that they can now touch over 13,000 more children throughout a year and that not so much from a business point of view but just from that you know non-for-profit charity space to help those those 13,000 families that was just a real a real beauty I absolutely love working in, in that space um yeah, we're just we're working with the education department at the moment. So there's some independent schools that have had very successful funding come through to them that have enabled them to now add more 
um, pupils to, to their school. So in terms of helping education and um, helping young, young kids learn. So um, there's been some building fund grants for independent schools that we've had access to. Uh, a lot of manufacturing grants that's assisted clients in you know, accessing that additional equipment, the, the plant and, and equipment, and to build out their current systems and, and pipelines. So now they're producing a lot more products so their export has gone up quite well. So yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful space to work in because those end results really are, are magical for, for certain people. Yeah, fantastic. So what's the, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you, with you if they're, they're interested in getting access to grants? Absolutely. Look, as I said, everything starts with, with a conversation. So be it a phone call, um, an email, a Zoom. It's just starting that dialogue to, to unpack, okay, where are you now? And, you know, where do you want to go? Um, so, you know, obligation-free consultation. Um, have, a, have a conversation with us around the project. So, you know, the website at noiseinternational.com.au. Um, not sure if we can put up some phone numbers or something through throughout here, but um, absolutely just reach out and it all just starts with that first conversation. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much for joining us, Madonna. Thanks for having me, Colin. Cheers. And that brings us to the end of the episode. Thank you very much for listening. And thank you very much, Madonna, again. That was a really insightful interview to learn a bit more about how to access government grants. If you want to get in touch with Madonna, head along to melroseinternational.com.au. And if you want to hear more about what we do here at Outcomes, or you want to listen to more episodes, head along to outcomes.business. That's outcomes.business. I'm Colin Grant. Thank you for listening.